Hi, this is Natalie from Line.arrow from the Netherlands and um, I'm here to work a little bit more on the Slimline Journal um, a little bit later than I wanted uh, I have been sick uh, yesterday was the first day I was out of bed from I think 3 o'clock in the afternoon and it was the first day I could really speak without well without sounding sick um, but I think uh, I have tackled what I have I think it was an allergic reaction to the pollen in the air because there was a lot of pollen because it was has been very warm because when I checked the calendar it all added up and I went out for a walk uh, when it was at the highest and it always starts with a thor sore throat and then pouring stuff out of your eye, your nose, even my ears. It was, well, it was terrible. So I took the right meds now and I'm, I'm doing better. I'm still not 100% um, okay, but it's not the same like I was. And uh, so yeah, that meant I had to call in sick, which I didn't like, but it wasn't possible to, to go to work. Um, so yeah. So I missed two days of work. I only work one day in the new year yet. So, but I'm going to start again on Monday. So that's the that's the first time I'm going to work a full week. But enough said about <coughs> about uh, how I'm doing. Um, I uh, have ledger paper in my stash. Uh, this is real vintage ledger paper, and I want to cover the inside with the ledger and then I want to add a layer of fabric over here so that's what I'm going to do um, and I don't want to measure everything so I'm just putting on glue on this side of the cover When I'm checking, I want the straight side over here. And I know you still see the, um, the stitching lines, but I checked. And when I put over the fabric, it's not as bad as it is now. Because I have this fabric. And... You don't see it anymore so that's what I want to do now I'm going to glue this side of course I could measure and cut it to size but um, if you've seen more of my videos you know by now I'm not the kind of girl that measures sometimes I do but most of the times I don't. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it's good to be back in the craft room again. Um, I had so much plans this week. and But I did work on something fun this morning. And I'm going to show you later. Because it has something to do with, um, with this... Um, journal also have to glue in a strip over here and obviously I didn't thought this through I'm just going to rip a piece not sure if it's straight, straight enough.
do with one hand. I'm not going to do that. to <clears throat> shut off the, the heater. It's not going well. Not the right size for me to look. No, not the right side. Over here, but that's okay. I'm going to leave it. I am going to glue it. So, when I already cook dinner, um, usually I first started to start to craft on Saturday and then cook dinner, and then I don't enjoy cooking dinner because it's all. A last minute action but today I really took my time because I like cooking dinner I like I like to cook um, I'm very creative when I cook uh, so I had a lot of fun in the kitchen today <clears throat> and I made um, couscous and um, chicken peas chicken peas you call them we call them frog peas I think you call them chicken peas, if I'm correct. I'm not sure. Not the green ones, but the yellow ones. And the ones you, you can make hummus. Uh, because I also made hummus. And um, I also have falafel. Um, I didn't make the falafel myself. But I did make um, a couscous pie with spinach and tomato and... As you can see, I didn't cover this part, but I am going to cover this. But I didn't sleep very well um, last night because I started thinking about rearranging my craft room. And then I'm starting to think about all the possibilities I have, which turn out I do not have, of course. Uh, but because I couldn't check, because I was laying in my bed, I was thinking about that the whole time. Um, can I move this over to this, this place? Uh, what if I do this? But you have no measurements whatsoever, so you're just thinking in your head. And in your head, everything fits. Because when I go shopping in my head, everything fits too. For clothes, I mean. And it's the same with furniture, of course. Um... I'm thinking I need to get this edge. I have to get this edge. Did I get this edge? I'm not pretty sure I I got it, but I'm just going to fold it this way, and I know uh, it's going to be different. But first, let me <clears throat> put on the fabric. But I'm going to cut it uh, off camera to the size of the journal. 
okay i i i just ripped everything almost the size and i did incorporate the the little flap thingy i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it but if it's not going to work i always can cut it off i have to figure out how i'm going to glue this because i don't want to glue um to show everywhere so i'm just going to glue the edges <clears throat> okay it works I'm not sure if it will work if it doesn't work I have a problem but maybe I can um, cover it up with paper again oh, I didn't put glue in what I'm thinking so oh Let me see if it still folds the way it should fold. Yes, it does. Okay, I do need to get rid of this piece because I can't sew. And I didn't. If I don't cut this off, it's not possible for me to sew. Left a tiny edge over here, as you can see. There's a glue between. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, I like this. What should I do with this side? Should do it like so, maybe. Just making stuff as we go. Making stuff up as we go. Maybe two. It's straight. I can't see. So I'm just folding this in, and I haven't thought this through. I'm just making this up as we go along. I'm thinking it will make a nice edge. Oh. oh no, I wanted to fold it the other way. I forgot. What am I doing? Oh, that's stupid. Okay, I'm going to. I received a message and I was distracted, and then I suddenly started to cut this off. And I was 
planning to fold it backwards. That was the, the plan. Yeah. So, maybe I can fix it. Not really. This is terrible. Okay, I did fix it. I'm going to sew over this and if it needs a little bit more lace then that's okay too. Um, sure not. I'm still not sure if I'm going to put it like so. Then I have to embellish this a little bit more if it's part of the cover or if this will be a pocket. Although it's very wide. I can't actually put something in. Maybe I should do it like so and this is totally nonsense <laughs> changing my mind again if I do it like so it has a little bit more sturdiness and you can put something in so change my plan again I'm going to sew around the borders, um, like so. Oh, this is very tight. Can this be? Yeah. Yeah, will work. And when I did the sewing part, uh, I will be back. So I did sew. Um, I made a tiny mistake, but you can't see. No, it's not showing. Um, over here I did sew exactly on the fold. I started alongside the fold and then it's turned a little bit over to the middle part, but I still think it's okay. Um, I do think I need to carve a tiny bit on here. I'm going to show you the inside and I do have to think about the closure I didn't think about that that's that's not very handy I should have thought of that before not the closure the binding sorry also the closure is also a thing I had to think about uh, but I forgot but yeah I will see as we go what I'm going to do will be okay okay this is enough oh so instead of fabric on the outside I'm having fabric on the inside so this is the inside cover now um, small pocket over here it does has a little edge over here like um what do you call this a spine because i didn't know what to do with it at first um the only thing is it's 
the fabric is moving so maybe I'm going to tuck it in and what do I need to sew? What do you think I need to sew? Well, I'm not going to do that. It's a journal. It's a junk journal. It's not perfect. I'm going to leave it as it is. And uh, maybe if it bothers me too much, I can. It bothers me. <laughs> I'm fixing it now. I just um, cut a little piece open and taking some glue. I'm doing fabric into the corner to the bottom of the pocket. And now there's a hole in the fabric, of course, but it's not showing too much. No, it's okay. So, yeah. Let's see there needs to can I put this in it's a little bit too long I need to put something plastic in here so um, it will not glue together because I just put some glue in I have here something so okay what I want to show you Oh, it's so much fun. I was thinking about which papers I should put in here and the papers... Um, well, let me explain. Wait a minute. Okay, I I can of course put in some ledger. That's what I have. But I have some coffee dyed papers. And usually, I don't know if you have that too. When you have your pages from the kit, I have that <clears throat> normally. But maybe it depends on whether you do food coloring or coffee dyeing. But usually when I have a coffee dyed paper and I want to glue it... Oh, I have it now, I think. Oh, this is almost fitting. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's smaller. I don't know what happens. I think the papers shrink a little when you dye them. And then I think, oh, that's, that's a hell of a job um, to glue everything on straight and make sure the pages if you have to cut them um, stay intact as good as possible so if you don't cut off a piece because um, normally it's not a big thing because you have a big area but if you have a small a journal and you have fold it in half and you cut off a wink it, it shows immediately so I was thinking how how can I <clears throat> Um, tackle that so I thought what oh I have ledgers so I can um, glue a paper to a ledger paper of course then this side is back too and I can glue uh, these together and but I wanted to use real um, old papers that I have in my stash I don't have a lot and the ones I have were very expensive to get I don't know how others do that in the Netherlands but over here um, in my area, it's very hard to find real vintage ephemera pieces or letters or things to craft with. And as much as I like to use the real stuff, um, if I do that, then a journal will be twice the price because it's very expensive to get it. So I'm 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 working with the next best next best thing, and that's uh, digital with. Um, real vintage items in it uh, so I went through my stash um, in my mind because I know I have scanned a lot of, of vintage ephemera pieces already and then I thought oh what if I turn these into pages um, printed versions from real stuff um, so I came up with this
some are um, sort of collaged pieces and this is a real vintage piece I think it's from um, uh, a lawyer or something um, I have this I have a telegram this is from a Dutch um, checkbook this is in French, this is in French, this is in French, this is also in French, and I have a Boston Journal of Chemistry, and I know it's not the best scan part in here, but it's tend to be a background. Um, and I also printed it on um, tracing paper. Um, this is... Um, uh, I think this is or chalk paper or uh, vellum and this is another piece but it it was it went wrong it took two pages at the beginning then I thought oh what if I put it in a journal and turn it into a pocket I thought it was pretty clever so maybe I'm going to use it but I, I turned these pages into a little 12 sheeted kit um, so you can use it in your projects too. Uh, and obviously I didn't do a lot of designing. I did uh, make the quality better. Although of this one, I couldn't get it any clearer than this. This is the best it was because it was bleached on the, on the real page. But I still like the, the script. So it's in there. <clears throat> but this will be available um, in my Etsy too but also my Kofi page and um, if you are somebody who supported me through Kofi uh, it will be a different price for you a little bit cheaper I'm not sure what it will cost but it will not be expensive but it's very very good to use in your journals uh, and the other thing I did is I printed one of the pages uh, this one on tracing paper because I wanted to have this in the journal too and another paper with the journal cards I printed on chalk paper because I thought maybe I can turn these into pockets um, so yeah and I also have a few coffee dyke papers and I also have um, uh, some music sheets uh, I will not make the, the, the um, insert on camera but what I will do is think about um, a binding usually I I'm not sure if I can do that let me just just with a paper no it's not possible I thought maybe I can do an elastic binding but it's not possible because it's the pages are very long I have to cut off just a little bit from the pages to make it fit because it has to be in here if I in two eyelets and have two elastics in here but I'm not sure if the spine will hold and otherwise I do have to sew them in which I'm not a big fan of and then I thought what if I just sew them in with my sewing machine, place them all together and then stitch over here, maybe three pieces, I'm not sure yet. But um, this is the process this far, I think this can be taken out, yeah, it's, no, it's not dry yet, it has to dry. But uh, yeah, this is it for today. <clears throat> uh, I hope you like it. I will list um, the small kit to my um, Etsy store and to the Kofi page. And like I said, if you supported me on Kofi, it will be a different price than it will be on my Etsy. Um, so yeah, this is it for today. Um, I hope you like it. Uh, give it a try. Uh, a trifle, not a trifle. A small uh, slimline journal and uh, let me see in a Facebook group yeah so I can see and thank you very much for watching um, like subscribe leave a comment um, 
go over to the Facebook group so you can join in with the challenge. Uh, the challenge is the uh, LBA New Year challenge and it involves this kit and this kit and this kit is the, I every time forget the name, the Slimline Journal. Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I keep forgetting the name. It's very annoying. It must have been somewhere. Well, it, it, oh, this is the name. The Vintage Slim Journal Collage Pages. So these two are part of the challenge. And the other one is not. So yeah, this is it for today. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I already said that, I think. Well, my mind is running in overdrive. I'm not, I'm doing great, but I'm not doing the best. Um... Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay creative. Greetings from the Netherlands and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.